All right, let's move on now to a look at how ordinary lives have been upended by the pandemic and the economic uncertainty that it's created. Tonight's voice of the crisis is getting people out of the house and onto the roads. Pearson Cycles in England is considered the oldest bike business in the world. It was founded in 1860. It's been offering free services to NHS workers at its shop in London and has recently reopened its doors at their store in Sutton. Guy Pearson is the fifth generation to run the family business and he joins us now from London via Skype. Guy, great to have you with us. Talk me through what it's been like to continue to operate, but to provide support in terms of bike services to um, to key workers. Yes, well, it has been incredibly busy here. Uh, <laughs> from the very beginning of the lockdown, we had noticed a huge upturn in sales and servicing that we were providing. Uh, many of the early ones were the NHS workers, which we were very keen to keep on the road because they had to avoid tra uh, public transport and other ways to get into work. So they were taking to their bikes. Um, we did a number of free services for uh, NHS workers to get them back on the road. And we have noticed a massive upturn in sales of bikes just for the normal person who wants to get out and do some exercise. Do you think that's sustained, Guy? Because we're in a period now where, at least in the UK, people are getting back to work, but we're concerned about the safety of public transport. If people, if everybody tries to take their car, it's going to be gridlock. This is perhaps a very old form of transport, but it's something that suddenly people realise could be pretty potent and useful at this moment in time for many reasons. Well, it is. And there's, you know, so many benefits uh, to cycling uh, as a means of transport and a means of exercise. Transporting, you can cycle and socially distance at the same time, and it's safer than going on a tube or a bus or a train. So why would you not do it? It seems to be the, the perfect antidote to a crisis like this. In the past, there's been many crises in this country that have resulted in an upturn in sales for cycling. We had bombings in London um, a few years ago uh, and other difficulties like tube strikes and transport strikes. And all those things have produced an upturn in sales and an upturn in interest in the form of cycling. And that whether that's just leisure cycling or as a commuting uh, or as commuting or uh, just for getting kids on bikes, that sort of thing. It's been absolutely incredible here, uh, and we've really enjoyed it. And we've we've been we feel we're very privileged to allow to, been allowed to be open in the first instance. When we heard the news that there was a lockdown, uh, the uh, there were many shops had, businesses had to close immediately. Bicycle shops were on that list that was that included pharmacies and supermarkets and they're on third or fourth on the list with bike shops and we were felt so privileged to be allowed to open continue trading continue helping people get out on their bikes get fit get to work if they needed to uh, and just to promote the, the the sport and activity of cycling what about for your workers, Guy, very quickly, because you did close the Sutton store, you're now reopening. What's happened with your workers and have you brought them all back? They have partially come back. So the uh, Sutton store had um, a few difficulties in that one of the workers was uh, thought we it was going to be ill. So we furloughed uh, quite a few of the workers down there. The shop had not been particularly busy even in the lead up to the lockdown. So we decided to close it. However, we have reopened it. It opened on Tuesday this week and it has been very busy since opening. So we're very pleased to see that uh, the few staff who have come back have been uh, occupied in just helping people get out on their bikes, uh, fix their bikes and uh, just promoting the activity of cycling again. Oh, fantastic. Guy uh, Pearson, great to hear from you. Uh, I've never even heard of the uh, store, actually. So the next time I'm back in London, fingers crossed soon, I'll, um, I'll come and look you up. Great to, um, great to see you and thank you for your help for NHS workers too. Thank Guy Pearson. Thank uh, you very much. Thank you.